So there's something really funny going on in the world of, I guess, web dev, especially if you're back in engineer, you should probably listen up right now. Of course, if you ever made a website or any even mobile application, you've probably used some sort of JavaScript framework, whether it's King React or Svelte, Vue, the list goes on and on, integrate with that next, Prismas and the TRPCs and something else, and there's a Zod in there, Astro, probably something else. Oh, React server components. I mean, how could you forget those? Uh, there's so much stuff going on. So I don't blame you if you feel overwhelmed in how the javascript ecosystem is i mean i'm overwhelmed I, I don't even know what i don't even know anymore but something recently has been brewing for a little bit now and that is called htmx now i know a lot of content creators and people have already talked about htmx and the beloved meme lore that runs htmx i'm talking about the tech twitter account and the genius behind the logic but it's actually pretty cool and why do i say this because if you're a back-end engineer this is exciting because in the front-end world we have seen the front end aspect of tech kind of incorporate a lot of back end into it. And let me demonstrate this with Excalibur. So I'm going to keep this example super simple. Let's say if you're front end and your back end code and your front end does everything with the client UI, does logic handling there, maybe some validation. Your back end does everything back end, logic, uh, handles the SQL, database, connections, et cetera, et cetera. So what tools like Next and React and using React Server Components and a bunch of different tools, even like Create T3 app, uh, have been doing is they've taken this front end and they've kind of really stop the notion of separation of concern and have just allowed really the JavaScript or the front end world to incorporate as much of this back end as possible. Meaning everything's done using TypeScript or JavaScript. Everything could be done with just one individual who knows JavaScript. The separation of concerns of where your front end logic is defined versus where your back end logic is defined is not as separate before. You know, you would go before you have like a separate client and a separate back end uh, repository here. You could do everything in one create T3 stack. This was kind of the goal of, you know, a lot of next and react server components. And I'm not saying this is necessarily a bad thing, but you know, to each their own, some people like that separation of concerns. Some people really enjoy the fact that you can do whatever you want pretty fast without having to break your neck and learning a different language or learning a different thing. There is a trade off here because doing this efficiently requires the proper tools to do it effectively. And knowing a lot of those tools can be overwhelming for someone who's just getting into this. When you spin up the create T3 app in particular, there's lots of great things and they handle so much for you from auth to type handling to testing etc it can get overwhelming to achieve this at a professional level which is what that stack aims to do but now on the flip side we have a tool called htmx and it is kind of doing really the exact opposite or really the you know other method of this the other side of this thinking where they're bridging and they're removing the separation of concern from the front and back end by just basically having every Everything, all the logic, all the state handling done by your back end. And all your front end is basically just spun up using HTML. Now, there's one thing I want to say HTMX is basically HTML files in terms of how the engineer will implement the logic. You will be majority handling HTML files and adding tags, but HTMX uses JavaScript under the hood. So, this is not a JavaScript re environment. I, some people keep saying that that's not true. HTMX needs JavaScript to work in the browser. It's That's just how it works. But in terms of you as the engineer, you you actually don't need to use JavaScript. If you're gonna use HTMX and your backend is written something like Go, then you can create a full stack application using Go and a bit of HTML. Now, the positive side here is pretty obvious. The backend engineers get full control of how they wanna develop and it could be pretty straightforward. If you know Go very well and you have a firm understanding of how you wanna handle your state, how you wanna query your DB, how you handle all of these things, this is a pretty good option for you. And the reason why I actually think it's pretty attractive is actually the opportunity sizing here. HTML HTMX is fairly new and building applications since 2010 has been predominantly done with React or JavaScript frameworks. But I truly think this gives an opportunity for people who use different languages like Go, PHP, Java, Rust to actually spin up some pretty powerful websites using HTMX. But it is worth noting this comment by Theo, big shout out, let me give, give it a like, is wait, you guys are actually using HTMX. Now, Theo made a video about HTMX. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, but it's pretty funny because a lot of people like Langford saying thought HTMX was just a meme. Of course, I start HTMX in the morning, inject HTMX in the afternoon, and smoke HTMX before I go to bed. I'm gonna I'm gonna click like on that. Uh, but that's because the account is run by one of the most funniest people in tech Twitter right now. A guy who just complete like look at this. <laughs> this is warm bufferings, but like it's just a dude who just memes on HTMX. I mean HTMX got banned from our 
r slash web dev i think it's in great hands i think if you have a good spirit about htmx and it's trying to solve a particular problem that addresses a particular group of engineers i think you have a really good recipe for success here now i took this thing one step forward and i asked actually uh youtube you know do you guys like the stack go htmx temple made a typo tail and postgres and error a lot of people said yes but a lot of comments said they don't even know what half of these are no one knew what error was nobody knew what temple was nobody knows what any of these are and it's not like i made these up these are real technologies i made a video about air you can look link in the description below or i'll pop up somewhere up here that talks about air and i think this is a very vital stack that has some opportunity to really showcase some abilities of htmx while showing the great experience of go with features of great open source projects sprinkled in there so i want to ask you guys do you like htmx have you heard of it before this video and if you do have any projects what are they let me know i'm curious to see what they are link them in the comment section with the github repo but i gotta leave you guys off with two things one is if we make the stack with go htmx temple tailwind air and postgres would that be something you'd be interested in using would you like it would it make you create more web applications but solely relying on go in the back end and handle all the logic let me know i'm curious because maybe i'm gonna build it maybe i'm part of a team that's gonna build it maybe i've said too much or haven't said yet is you gotta power it.